Hello, YouTube of YouTube, welcome to Hello, YouTube of YouTube, welcome to a new episode of Daniel's videos and etc. Guys, that is a tongue twister right there. Anyway, guys, so guys, what are we gonna be doing today? Today we're gonna be unboxing a couple of things here. Um, I'm gonna say this now. This is the last unboxing till we start building the build. Yes, that's what I said. This is it. This is the ultimately last unboxing video. Maybe. No, I'm like. 80% sure this is the last one guys and um, I remember saying this exactly or just about two years ago um, when it when it came to the floater 288 build um, two years ago I said that to floater 288 this year I say that I'm gonna say the title now floater 32 I think I no I'm sorry fail floater floater 36 I may have already said that in a past video but yes that's what the build's called I may have already called it that in the first video when I did the unboxing for the case. But guys, we have acquired all the parts and um, extra parts that weren't really camera worthy have been acquired as well. Um, but yeah, we have everything and that's, that's yeah, that's, that's pretty great. Yeah, awesome. Just plain awesome, guys. And it's great. I'm glad you guys have been with me so far watching these videos of these unboxings. It's, it's just been great. Guys, this is the package from what I call, or what they call Gilmer, Texas. Um, um, and let's go ahead and box it. Nothing really much to say about it, except that it's a box from Gilmer, Texas. Hold on, I have to put the camera down for this. All right, guys, back. I uh, used my ruler to cut it. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, guys, so, um, whoever packed this is one heck of a smart packer. Man, whoever packed this, dude, you're awesome at packing because this packages that are difficult to open are the truly awesomely like the true packer genius genius guys he is would be a good packer for a company uh, he well technically yes I'm ordering off a company that packs and ship, ships this but I'm just saying this is one heck of a good packing job man you're awesome all right so let's go ahead and continue unboxing here if I get it to okay got it out jeez I hurt myself giant chunk in there, I don't know what that was. So opening the box, sliding item out, you would reveal a giant blue thing, and I'm quite excited what it actually is, because I've always wanted to hold one of these in person. Gotta be a little careful with that. And I got a letter in there. It's just an invoice, guys. If there are any messages, I'll read it. It says right here, thank you for your business. Sincerely, Aaron. Please leave positive feedback, then we will do the same for you. Um, this is not a bill. Yep. Alright guys, so what the heck is this item? It's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Um, and I'm totally excited as to what it is. Alright guys, what do you got here in giant bubble wrap? We have a five and a quarter inch floppy drive, guys. Five and a quarter inch. And man, is five and a quarter inch a good way to put it? Let's see if it actually is five and a quarter inch. Yep. Uh, well, well, um, the drive is not really five and a quarter inches. It's more five and three quarters of an inch, but... Um, the floppy disk is actually found in the quarter inch. Okay, guys, uh, let me get the bubble wrap undone, and I'll check back in a second. Okay, guys, back. Question you guys might be asking yourselves right now, or me, to me. Why, Daniel? Why did you buy this? Well, this is... Sorry. Uh, this is not a new drive. And, well, technically to say that it's new, I would half lie to that. Um, this is technically new old stock. Basically what that means is it's new, but it's... It's new in the box, never been opened, but it is not brand new. It's not just came out of the factory a couple days ago. It just came out of the factory like in the mid 80s, mid to late 80s or something like that. Um, technically, that's what new old stock means. New, but old from new, but new from its time period that it came from. So technically, that's what it means. And usually, if you're going to buy stuff from the 80s, it's considered brand that is considered new. Then it's new old stock, 100%. So yeah, basically that's what this is, guys. It's a, uh, yeah. So what is make, so why? Like why? Why are you asking yourself why? Well, reason why? Because I always wanted a five and a quarter inch drive. Um, I already have the five and a quarter inch floppy disks. They're um, verbatim brand, so there you go. But yeah, I've always wanted a five and a quarter inch drive. It, they're so cool. They're giant, they're massive, and they just, what make, that's what makes a computer, or the old computer, the old computer. Um, but yeah, you can actually buy these brand new off the seller I got it from. He does charge a hefty price for them, but consider it uh, a deal. I got um, the guy seller sell offers these for about 55 bucks a piece. But you guys um, keep in mind 
that there's a buy now uh, there's a um, best offer button you can click and I was able to buy this drive for fifty dollars um, instantly it didn't it like didn't even it went through it didn't um, he obviously had an automatically accept button in place so yeah it automatically accepted my offer for fifty bucks so you guys can pick this up for fifteen dollars shipping for me um, but you can pick this up for sixty five dollars uh, flat awesome instead of 70 if you play if you know how to use eBay correctly um, but yeah so I picked this guy up for yeah but this guy's got hundreds of these drives um, he's even selling bulk packs of these drives uh, for like 250 bucks I'll send I'll put the links in the below guys if you want to get one of these drives but yeah he's selling these for he's got a lot of these drives I guess he has like I don't know how where he got them from but um, I'll show you a picture of it it's massive he's got stocks and stocks of these drives you can buy bulk bulk drives off these but they're uh, Neutronics branded um, aka also Mitsumi um, I guess it's a merger or something but yeah the model number is a D509V5 um, and there's a serial number 0172010 I'm not entirely sure what to make out of that um, unless that's 1972 or that's 2001 which I highly doubt is either of those, but I assume it's from like maybe the late, early, really early 90s. I can find some sort of a part or some sort of number on the chips, might say something about it. Well, I found, found one down here that might could convert to a date. It says 97, but I highly doubt that's from 1997, although it does use surface mount components, so it's obviously from some date after 2000, or from some date after, wait a second. Oh, there we go. Is that it? No, and I'm not entirely sure. Oh, wait, no. Hey, give me a second, guys. Now, guys, I wasn't able to find any information regarding the drive itself um, in, in, in terms of exactly how old these drives are and what year they're from, but judging by their circuitry components, I say somewhere from around the mid 80s to early 90s, somewhere around there. Um, I think that's a pretty good estimate. Um, but yeah, these are new old stock drives, guys, and uh, keep in mind that they actually are 1.2 megabyte drives. I believe they also read 360K discs. Um, but yeah, this is a, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, 1.2 megabyte drive, guys. Uh, so if you're looking for a five and a quarter inch floppy drive, guys, then head on over to eBay. You can pick one up. I'll put the links in below. Um, yeah, uh, I actually was able to find the, uh, quickly pull up the guy's order or the, the uh, listing on eBay for it so I could show you that picture, guys. But yeah, um, 1.2 megabyte drives, they're full on five and a quarter inch, they're about the same dimensions as a CD drive. Um, just keep in mind, of course, their circuitry is bare exposed, so when you're actually um, going to, uh, you actually want to use these, just keep that in mind that uh, you got to handle them a little more delicately than optical drives do. So here's a, here's his listing for the lot of 10 drives, which actually is 350 bucks plus $21 shipping. Um, I don't know why would someone would need to buy a lot of 10 floppy uh, five and a quarter inch drives, but you can. So yeah, there's one, there's one individual drive and uh, what's the bottom of that individual drive. And that's what the drive looks like out of the bag, white, green LED. Um, there's another angle of the um, drives in that box. That's what the lot looks like in his warehouse, guys. Check that out. Look at all of these drives. I'm that's like a that's crazy. Like he may have bought a warehouse or something and had these stocked up there. I'm not entirely sure. But guys, that's a deal. And considering this brand new and they're rare to find, um, considering that they're fifty dollars and fifteen sh bucks shipping. Brand new old stock drive, not bad, not bad at all. And they're tested, they're brand new, and they're working right out of the bag. That's cool, guys. Um, I haven't tested mine yet, and I do not have... I'm going to be building the build, of course, guys, and the next time you'll see me, I'll be setting up the build. But not entirely yet. I'm going to be making a video just like the last video where I showcase all the parts I have and a review and how it's going to be implemented in the build and hopefully implemented in the final build. And, of course, guys, just for your enjoyment, there will be a time lapse of me building this computer. It's going to be fran freaking tastic guys. Dining room table... Just like in that video, which I'll never upload, but I, I will see. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this episode of Dan's Video, etc. No, just kidding. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take one out. And uh, we're going to take it out, and we're going to check it out. So, I have to set the camera down, put it on top of my camera bag, if that'll work. Alright. 
clumsy, but hey, okay. So, let's take this thing out of the bag. Handling with the most care I can handle. Steel, guys. Full on metal. Um, holy crap. This drive is not exactly light, but it's not exactly heavy either. But yes, guys, this is just a brand new drive. You got a Mitsumi logo embossed right in there. Um, I actually... Why Mitsumi? Um, I could have picked any other brand, but then again, this is a brand new drive that kind of just kind of rules everything out. But the reason why I chose Mitsumi was because um, I actually... Floater, uh, Floater 72's um, five, uh, three and a half inch drive was actually a Mitsumi brand. So that's just kind of interesting that they also sell Mitsumi five and a quarter inches. So there you go, two Mitsumi drives in a computer. Um, yeah, but I wasn't unable to find any information about the date this drive was made. Um, their serial number does not appear to be valid. I can't find anything that would represent a date of some sort. Um, I'm pretty sure at least one of these is a date code. Uh, I might need to decipher it, but yeah. Um, there's a drive, um, circuitry. Like I said, it's all, um, um, SMD components. It's not, uh, the surface mount, I mean. Yeah, surface mount, uh, chips. None of it is through-hole components here. Um, they're all surface mounts, so that gives a bearing at exactly what year this could be from. Again, I'm not seeing a specific date code at all whatsoever. So, yeah. There's the, op there's the giant wheel, the flywheel, spins. Um, not sure if it's a belt-driven or a motor itself. Is that it? But, yep. Of course, takes your typical Molex, and like I said, um, card edge connector. Um, you need a card edge, uh, which I believe the guy, the guy does warn you about it when you buy this drive. He warns you that you need a, f a card edge connector to actually use the drive. So yeah, keep that in mind guys. If you want a 5 and a quarter inch drive, make sure you get a card edge connector. Don't worry. Uh, the, the connector is not the same as your typical five, uh, three and a half inch drive is, but the interface is exactly the same. So you could actually make your own cable if you wanted to. No, uh, no like special adapter conversion things. You just need one end's got to be your typical three and a half inch floppy drive connector, and the other one's just got to be cartridge. But yeah, the interface is exactly the same. And you can actually buy these cables on the internet too. I'll put a link in there below if you want to get one too. If you guys have a drive, and you know. So yeah, typically how these would work: stick your floppy drive in, and then you just move that down which I cannot do. I guess it needs a disc to do that, unless it's got a special, like, oh, brand new drive, you need to pull it out thing. But yeah, guys, that's pretty cool, guys. That's, that is a five and a quarter inch floppy drive. Um, Mitsumi brand, guys. Pretty cool, pretty cool. That's pretty much it for this episode of Daniel's Videos and Etc. Guys, and again, I will put the links below if you wanna get one of these drives uh, or you guys wanna get a cable for the drive that you may have. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode of Daniel's Videos and Sarah Guys, like you like it, dislike if you hated it. That's pretty much it. Guys, the next video is going to be a review video about pretty much all the parts we have acquired and how they're going to be implemented and where they might go in the build. And then that video after that will be the build itself. Guys, thank you for watching this episode of Daniel's Videos and Like if you like it, dislike if you hated it. May have said that already, but hey, that's all right because I make mistakes and I'm human. But that's all right, guys. Like if you like it, dislike if you hated it. I already said that. Um, comment, subscribe, do whatever it is you do to get this video going. But guys, that's pretty much it for this episode of Dan's Video, etc. And I will see you guys in the next one, and I'll see you guys later.